We're in Office 365. I'm going to show you how to choose the Send As option so you can send as a different user. This happens a lot of times when you have an executive and an executive assistant where that particular assistant needs to send as their boss. So let's go ahead and click on the admin icon in Office 365 and we'll click on edit a user in the upper left hand corner. And from here we're going to go ahead and click on Jane Doe Smith. And now we're going to scroll down to where it says mail settings. And we see here that there's mailbox permissions set up and we have the send as option. Let's go ahead and click on edit. And I've gone ahead and added myself as the send as option, which means that I can be in my mailbox, but that I can actually send as though it's coming from Jane Doe's mailbox. If you want to add additional people, you can click on add permissions and search for user, or you can go ahead and select the person and click the X to get rid of that option in case that person is no longer there. Let's go ahead and click close and close. Now it does take several minutes for this to take place, which is why I added myself in first before I started doing this recording. Let's go ahead and click on my mail right here. And I'm going to click on to create a new mailbox. And now I'm going to click on the three dots at the top and choose to show from. That's the show from box at the top. And from here, I can go ahead and hit the drop down and I should be able to change this from my name to Jane Doe. There's Jane. And now I'm going to go ahead and send an email. And I'll just send it to myself. And I'll say test. And click send. And look at that. I see an email and it looks like it came from Jane Doe. So it worked. So that's how you do a send as in Office 365.